many people have asked me this question can i buy traffic from propeller and shoot it to my google adsense website which means buying traffic from propeller and sending it to my google adsense website is possible but there's some things you need to understand i made a mistake two years ago and i lost my propeller ads account what do i mean my partner account i wanted to buy traffic from propeller and i was doing it the wrong way so watching this video to the end will help you to understand one of the easiest way to buy traffic from propeller and then send it to your google adsense website and this is educational video you need to pay attention and if you skip any parts there are chances you're going to get it wrong so pay attention and watch to the end when it comes to buying traffic from ad network like propeller axtera mgid tabula name them there are something you need to understand you need to ask yourself do these ad network have my audience is very very important so first of all understand if the ad network you want to purchase traffic from if they have your audience and if they also have your audience based on the ad format you're going to be using to attract traffic and shoot it to your what your google adsense website so pay attention understand if they have your traffic uh, audience now the first thing we're going to do is not about creating a campaign i've seen a lot of people who tell you go to propeller create a campaign and start sending the traffic to your website to increase your google adsense earning which is google adsense arbitrage the first thing you need to understand if if those platform have the audience you really want so you're not going and run a campaign and get uh waste your time or waste your income so this is what you need to do your money sorry now the first thing you're going to do if you look at here you're going to see traffic chat now what this means is that propeller is going to show you the available traffic they have in each ad format now a lot of people may use pop under push notification these are mistakes that i I did when i was doing arbitrary i also lost my google adsense when i was using pop under buying a pop under traffic from here but if you're using ads uh is a welcome development you can use pop under but in my next video i'm going to be treating that method if you're using ads make sure you comment on this video commenting i'm using ads so i will know how many people who are using ads which is premium addison so i can show you how to use pop under traffic to increase your ads earning because ads is counting by impression which is ecpm they pay by ecpm and google Addison also pay by click and uh, whatever whatever so now the first thing we're going to know is that what what is the ad format we're going to be using so for ads is pop under but i'm going to treat that topic different but for ad send arbitrage what you need is intersexual uh, ad format that's what we need and now when it comes to intersexual ad um ad format that's what we're going to be using to run the campaign to run the campaign we're going to send to our google adsense website now you're going to choose the platform now most times uh mobile convert better so you need to choose mobile now leave it in all operating system now the all the connection just leave it like this there is nothing to change what this chart is going to tell you the available traffic they have for interstitia now let's say for example our main our people we are targeting here is usa so our content we are going to be promoting to increase our google adsense earning because we are going to be putting a content inside our website and then using the images and the write up the heading to run a campaign on propeller and shoot it to our money site to increase our google adsense and so it's very 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 much important so uh, since we have already seen the chart the top chart here is India okay uh, the second one is Indonesia when it comes to interstitia ad and under mobile okay if you choose uh, all platform the figure is going to change okay it will increase but we want mobile traffic so since you have already understand if these people have the available capacity traffic you're going to be needing based on the audience you are going to target the first thing you're going to do again is to start creating campaign so I'm going to be showing how to create a step-by-step -step campaign using interstitia ad format to do that let's go to create a campaign on propeller is very simple so what you're going to do is first of all you need to also fund your account so that's very very important and if you're in nigeria your national id card is required it's not much it's going to be plastic it can be nin which is the uh, temporal one you can easily use it and submit to their chat support they, they can be able to enable a card payment for you and thank god uh, some of the Nigerian bank has start working their card have start making online payment and minimum of $500 Now what you're going to do after funding $100 for starting what you're going to do is to create a uh, campaign now remember 
I said if you are using uh, ADS, premium ADS, you can equally use Poponder, okay? Now, uh, you can use push notification, but for me, in this game, what is going to convert is Interstatia or native ad, but let's work with Interstatia because Interstatia ad format is like a native ad. Uh, format is just similar. Okay. Now what is going to happen after we choose uh, The ad format advertising format we can name our campaign. We can put it anything we want We can keep it to be uh, anything. Yeah, let me put it young rests now. Okay, for example now after we uh, put uh, The campaign title for example, what you need to choose is by what? CPC by click. Uh, most times, I I do advise people to go that either go for CPC or CPM. So depending on how good you are in terms of optimization, but for me, uh, the very important thing I will go with is CPC. My first campaign. Why the second campaign I'm going to create is to put under CPM. What CPM means that they are going to be charging you per one thousand impression. Is going to either be one hundred dollar for most times, uh, for a good person who knows what he's doing. If your interstitial ad banner is going to attract more click, uh, I'm going to advise you. If you know how to, you know, uh, create a nice attracting banner, I will I like you to go with CPM so you don't waste your money in CPC because you may be buying high here and selling Google very low because if you are starting up newly your uh, cpc may be very fucking low sorry for putting the word fucking i'm sorry for that now is it may be very low okay so you now go and beat what they're not paying you on google adsense so use cpm for starting but if you if you already have a, a good performing website i have high cpc go with the beating cpc you already know that google is paying you this amount for this particular keyword you want to uh, buy traffic for then that's when you know that okay if they're paying two dollar i'm ready to spend uh, 13 cents to get one click now uh, leave it under cpm when you are on the, uh, you have not uh, understand your cpc if it's frustrated which is dancing and going and coming down now the next thing you're going to do is to put the targeted url so most times i do advise my uh, my students also advise some of my friends that do it some of the mistakes i do make sure that this url i'm going to put here is direct to the post and make sure your uh, your site is connected to anything like uh uh, read the reader like something that is going to tell you how many people I think uh, let me not give fake information right now because I don't really know Google Analytics I don't know if it's still working or whatever so you make sure you have something that is going to track the traffic to tell you the accurate people who have come to that URL so uh, if we, if we say for example the URL is something uh, like this the content okay slash uh, you know something like that uh, you, you, you can use um you can use propeller uh, uh their own tracking id uh, which is advisable the zone and the country and the browser okay uh, that's also good uh, if you can use their own tracker yeah. and make sure you add okay you also add your own um your own tracker on your own website is very very much important now the next thing you're going to also look at here in terms of visitor when it comes to google adsense you, you need to be very very careful you should set your time one person per 20 24 hours abby i wish you go under 24 hours for one person so after 24 hours the person can be able to see our campaign so we're not cause issue on one person visiting your campaign and wasting your money and also causing some issue for you in your google adsense account now um you can set uh, the recommended uh the recommended uh country bidding i can you can enable dix uh enable dix or maybe you leave it uh not enable but for me i think i should leave it on enable what i'm going to choose is one country so i would advise you to target one country one country okay per campaign okay alex you're going to give you opportunity if you choose another country if you choose this country you can be able to click add and keep a separate um cpm for all of them but since they're not giving an opportunity for that i would advise you to target only one country per, to, per sorry per campaign it's very very important you do that 
Uh, you can you can either exclude some cities in USA that you know that is not interested in your content if you also understand your content very well. And when it comes to states again, you can also exclude some states in USA if you don't if you already know that this particular state in USA don't really like this type of content. But if you don't know that, you should just leave it everything uh, uh, included. Okay. Now this is what you're going to be doing. Now you, you you should set your daily budget to be twenty dollar. Sorry, you can make it uh, thirty dollar. Since uh, per one thousand impression, per one thousand impression is uh, two point something. Uh, sorry, not uh, even up to one dollar. So let's assume, for example, out of um, where's my calculator? So out of one thousand impression, only hundred people click. Sorry, or maybe below, like say two hundred people click. Other people see it. Sorry, out of 1000 impression 1000 impression minox or uh, 200 people that pick interest and click uh you only lost only 800 then the 200 may equally do better when they go over to your website but remember you bought the traffic very low okay so buying 200 clicks uh for just one point something dollar is 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 over gain because one thousand impression is one point something dollar and then uh if out of that one thousand impression two hundred to three hundred convert you are still at gain so using cpm uh is also good in terms of running this type of ad now if we also scroll down here we can keep on optimizing you can keep your daily budget to be a uh, total budget you want to spend so i would advise if you have a uh, hundred dollar or two hundred dollar you can keep it above what you have in your balance so they will be rushing to offer you quality traffic and then uh trying to meet up for you to spend your total campaign budget uh that's just what i want to say now this is uh very very important uh the platform you are targeting is mobile remember based on the traffic st uh, stats we took uh we need uh android we need operating system we need uh symbia is not existing again um window phone some people in usa are using window phone now this is very very important don't exclude any uh, version of phone browser this is very very important include browser you can include google chrome uh firefox uh mozilla firefox now the browsing language the people you are targeting is speaking english so that's very very much important okay now uh, if you come over to this place again i'll uh, leave it in all connection so anybody that is using 3g uh, wi-fi and uh, my fi whatever router the all of them are going to see your campaign now um here propeller also deliver proxy traffic so uh, I, I would advise you to leave it on no proxy traffic they should not give you any uh, proxy traffic now this is also um very very important you can keep a zona uh you know exclude some zone if you already know some zone that is not performing very well because each zone by example by zone let's say there are some website that have uh, low traffic and uh, they have a zone id for example if i'm not trying to give a, a kind of fake information but now this is something you need to do yourself you also need to chat uh propeller up and tell them that you want them to uh, whitelist your account for a good traffic so you want your campaign to be showing on a high website that have high quality traffic not just on any junky website because uh, what what's, what's thing about this most of this platform is that anybody can create a website today and add propeller to their website and even though with the low traffic they will still be making money and in this case some advertisers are going to lose if your campaign uh eventually display on those type of website is a waste of money because most of them are likely to use uh, artificial intelligence or any proxy to load up their money to earn money from uh, from propeller and it may affect you as an advertiser so you can equally uh, chat them up and tell them that they should at least your account for uh, good audience okay uh that's all here if we go down here we're going to say collect um collect users that click on the campaign this is also good once you collect them you can create a name for them once they collect it once the ad finish running they will collect the users that click that convert to click on your campaign 
and keep it a record so when you're running ad there's no reason to set up this optimization again you come here and pick the users and everything is going to be very very easy for you okay um now the next thing here is very very important this is the place you're going to put some necessary thing here which is the campaign uh, this is also uh, going to be uh, leave it for standard uh, okay uh, leave here and what is very very important here is to put your you are your particular you are um, let me check up something okay here is very very important uh, sorry for some mistake that I did here uh, here is very important we need image or uh, interstitial that's what we need you need to choose your interstitial ad formats here again the template you want to use either you use image uh, messaging type or you use uh, image this one are going to convert uh, plastic is also good uh, okay just leave it under image image is going to work very very, very well now you're going to go to your canva mm -hmm. I think I've talked about this thing countless time you can easily go to your Canva and set uh, 500 by 70 and create a landscape of uh, uh, recommended landscape of 70, 700 by 500 again. And once you upload it, you can duplicate it and change different creative. So uh, you can either contact some graphic designer to create a very uh, attractive image for you or you use Canva and make sure you re use the recommended uh, size, which is the width and the length. It's very, very important. This will help to get you a good result. So either you hire somebody to create a more attractive banner that you're going to use. So when somebody comes to a website, it will definitely pop up. Uh, now, again, Either you use image or you use plastic. Plastic will allow you to put title, but inside image, image is also profitable too in terms of click to rent. You may put uh, something. Uh, I wish to share one particular image here, but um, in my next video on how to use um, Astera for buying traffic from Astera, sending it to ADS, I may took my time to show you one of the image, the type of the image you need to use okay in time of this but you can easily uh, check some people that run currently add on facebook some of the ad uh, pictures they use some of the ad creative picture they use that's the current one you can easily use but work with the recommended uh, size is very very important once you're done with the creative make sure you have three to four creative so propeller can be able to test different creatives the one that is going to be performing very well so your money will be not waste and you're going to get people to click and uh, remember is uh, under the process of cpm okay 1000 and they are selling this traffic very cheap and uh, which out of 1300 to 200 clicks are going to succumb that's very very important so um once you're done with everything you can easily add i declare and okay i declare and guarantee that my campaign means the quality um guideline since you have followed this strategy that i just showed right right now um there's no reason to uh for you to be afraid not to accept uh, this one now for you to also minimize your money come here okay now exclude partner traffic we only want propeller traffic we don't want any partner traffic that partner traffic may be coming from different source different places we don't need it because this traffic we are sending it to google adsense so we need a genuine traffic we know so since we're buying from propeller please exclude a partner traffic we don't need any partner traffic okay and please make sure you choose anti-block so it can't be blocked it must surely pop up once the person come to the website so that's how i know to set the campaign and buy a profitable traffic from propeller and run a profitable adsense arbitrage with propeller and i'm going to be seeing you guys in my next video and i wish you guys good luck and peace bye